Modern technology services in enterprise DevOps environments are complex and dynamically changing. It is a challenge for site reliability engineers, SREs, to keep their skills current to match the rapid pace of change. This demonstration shows how AI and automation can assist SREs to manage modern technology services, reducing some of the strain on maintaining current knowledge. This is our application hosting environment. It is Kubernetes, but it could be a public cloud or a VMware cluster. This is an observability platform. And this is an AI site reliability bot named Ali. Ali is going to help human SREs manage complexity, change, and the need for ever evolving skills. To begin, Look at the observability platform. Notice that it's empty. In our monitoring console, there are no monitoring policies, no agents, no alarm policies, no blackout policy. There's nothing here. We've got no automation policies. Here's an application developer. Let's call him Dan. Dan has built a new application called Easy Travel. He is going to deploy Easy Travel to our Kubernetes cluster. Dan's mandate is to move faster and innovate. He's using open source technologies. He's using things that make his life easier as a developer. That doesn't make life easier for the operations manager or the site reliability engineer. In fact, it's probably going to make their jobs harder because he's going to be using some technologies that they've never touched before. After Dan deploys easy travel, Ali responds. What does she do, and what are the results? Ali is continuously inspecting the Kubernetes cluster, trying to understand what's going on. She realizes there's a brand new app out there that wasn't there a minute ago. She doesn't know much about easy travel, but she knows our team needs to know about this brand new thing that just got deployed because we don't see it in our observability platform. Ali takes a model of easy travel and she puts it in our observability platform. We can see it now. We're not doing full management or monitoring yet. We see a small bit of data about easy travel flowing from our hosting platform over to our observability platform. Easy travel is now in our observability platform. Our operations teams and SREs just see basic information. It's on a Kubernetes cluster, has an IP address. There's not a lot that they can tell about it at this point. The traditional approach at this point would be for them to try and figure out what it is and what they need to do to manage it. With predictive service ops, they don't need to do this. They can ask Ali to manage it. They select AI management and easy travel is now being managed by Ali. She's now on the case. Ali does a deep inspection of easy travel. She looks at the different technology components and tech stacks that make up easy travel. She sees it has Redis, PostgreSQL, and Kafka. The operations manager and SRE may not know anything about these technologies. They don't need to. Ali is going to build what are called knowledge modules about that technology stack. And then she's going to take those knowledge modules and train our monitoring agents how to monitor that technology. If it's Kafka, for example, she understands what it takes to monitor Kafka, and she's going to go configure it so that now our agents also understand. She's teaching our agents how to monitor that particular technology. She has insights as well. She knows what metrics Kafka will provide, which are important and which are not important. She pre-configures our observability platform for the important metrics and sets up dashboards so if something goes wrong, we are able to act upon it. Ali has deployed some agents with alarm policies. The operations manager or SRE may not know what any of these things are. They may not know what a Kafka producer outgoing byte rate is, but Ali does. Ali knows that it's something that we need to care about. And so she's trained the agent monitoring that technology to start pulling in metrics about whatever this is. Whatever a Kafka producer outgoing byte rate is, whatever a producer topic compression ratio is, she knows they are important. So they are being observed. She's also started to set up some automations as well. That data is coming in now. We have configured dashboards that she created to monitor easy travel. This is cool. This is great. Ali is actively monitoring our environment for us. But that's not what keeps customers up at night. What keeps them up at night is, what happens when something goes wrong? If the team doesn't have the skills to do what she just did, managing the new service, if something goes wrong, how are they going to deal with it? Now we'll cause some problems for easy travel and see how Ali reacts to it. She's monitoring it. She understands what's happening. We kick off a massive number of transactions flowing into easy travel. You see the Kafka records consumed rate. 
it's floating between 16 and 19. Those might be milliseconds or transactions. It doesn't matter if anyone else knows because Ali does. Our observability platform is getting angry. Events and alerts are flowing in. These alerts are basically an indication to Ali that she needs to jump into action. Normally, an SRE could try to take this action on their own and try to diagnose and troubleshoot what's going on. In this case, Ali is going to do that for us. She starts inspecting the metrics that are being collected, the events and alerts that are coming in. She realizes that it is not 45 different things that are going wrong, but just one thing. She bundles the alerts, events, etc. together into a situation. With the situation she is saying, okay, I've determined that all these things are related. It is one issue happening, not 45. Ali understands, and she has an idea. I think I know how to solve this problem. She jumps into action and expands the capacity of whatever microservices are serving that environment, and she sees that situation go away. She solves the problem on her own. Back to the question we had a minute ago. What happens when something goes wrong if operations or SREs don't deeply understand how to manage that technology? The answer. Our site reliability engineering bot named Ali takes care of it. We see a significant spike in our observability dashboard. Switching to our AI apps console, Ali is using the situation she created and identified a couple of root causes for that situation. Looking at the automation history, a minute and a half ago, Ali scaled up our Kafka lag automation, whatever that is. She did that to address the issue. Looking at our metrics, instead of one thing processing those transactions, there are three. The metrics are coming back down as these new consumers are handling more and more of the transactions. The service is now back to green. What did we show in this predictive service ops demonstration? The operations person didn't do a thing other than clicking one button. The alley, please manage this for me button. She discovered easy travel and set it up in the observability and AI ops environment. She pre-configured all the notification policies based on the technology that she discovered and configured all the agents to make sure they're monitoring the right things. When a problem occurred, and it wasn't one problem, we caused a bunch of different red flags to go off. She realized they were all part of the same thing. She built a situation out of it, realized how to solve that problem with automation, executed the automation, and our service returned to a healthy state. No manual intervention or knowledge required. Total AI and automation. Thank you for watching.